and welcome. According to the Guinness Book of Records, this is one of the most haunted places in the UK. This is Pluckley Village in Kent, and this is Ghost Dimension Celebrity Special. Coming up on Ghost Dimension. I just want to make contact. Can I ask you some questions? What's happening again? The night before the Ghost Dimension Celebrity Special in Pluckley, the team had the opportunity to investigate the Black Horse to find out what the most haunted pub in the most haunted village in the UK had in store for us. So Paul, Pluckley Village in Kent, what do you think tonight's going to bring to us? Well, considering it's supposed to be the most haunted village in the UK, according to the Guinness Book of Records, I'm expecting a lot of activity. You, you would when you've got somewhere that's got that kind of reputation. Yeah. For me, I'm absolutely terrified. I feel that it's, I've come into this building and I come into this room and it's, it's, it's frightening. Yeah. You feel the atmosphere change as soon as you come upstairs and you leave that bar area. Yes. It goes nasty. Yeah. There's an eerie feeling. Do you feel it in this room? Um, I, I try not to get influenced because yeah. obviously we've, I know about the history. Mm. I know what's here. So I try and come in and look at it in a neutral way. Mm. I know what you're saying. It's got mm. the history. It's got the stories and all the rest of it. Um, this room, I don't feel anything personally, but there is the upstairs, the attic area. That, oh. to me, feels a little bit creepier, but it's sparse. Yeah, and it you is. know, there's a mirror. I don't like mirrors. There's a mirror. <laughs> Doesn't do me any favours, but there's a mirror there. This village is the most haunted village in the UK, yeah. and it, with it being the most haunted village, it should bring out some of the spirits tonight. Especially with some of the equipment that we'll use, mm. we should be potentially dragging out anything and everything that's around here. Because if it is haunted, this whole village, then sure enough. Maybe tonight we should catch you something. What do you think our guests are going to make of tonight? To be honest, I think they're going to poo the pants. <laughs> I think they're going to be excited. Very yeah. excited and yeah. scared, perhaps. Yeah. I think they'll be really scared. Yeah. I think they're going to be running out of this building as fast as they can at the end of the night, never going back. Well, let's face it, if we've got a feeling as we come into this building, then Hey, who who knows what they're going to feel Especially when the they come off. in? Exactly. It takes on a completely different feel. It, it does, does indeed. Yeah. And the thing is, you know, these people haven't probably haven't done this before, yeah, so true. they're out of the comfort zone. Yeah. You know, they're not going to know what to expect, as we don't really. But no. we're better prepared for it. Mm. It's going to be a completely different experience for them. Let's yeah. uh, let's hope the ghosts appear. Ghost dimension tonight. Let's hope so. In Pumpkin Village. Yeah. Yeah. As chivalry is not dead, the girls went off to investigate first. Bex and Jane had no idea what lay ahead, but ventured forth with excitement and caution. Here's what happened to them. Hi all. So I am doing a lone vigil in the granddad's room, so I'm just going to walk around now to it. Let's uh, open the door. Oh, oh dear me. Instantly, I come in, there's a bang. Shut the door. I shut the door too, but I'm not going to shut it fully. So it's, we've got a bit of, a bit open. Anyway, I have a K2 meter, a torch, and ho over here on the Floor. Sorry, that's my torch. Is a REM pod. So I'm going to just put my torch over there because it is extremely, extremely dark. Um, I'm going to my K2's on, so I'm going to hold that and get started. Does anybody here? Can you make? Whoa! Can you see that flashing there? That's a REM pod. I have just reset. Hello? Can you step away from that REM pod on the floor? Look 
can ask you some questions. Can you come away from it, please? Step away. Right, before I ask any questions, I want to stop now. If there's anybody here with me, So in here is a granddad and I think his wife killed him and his wife's buried in this pub because um, it used to be a farmhouse and therefore the man, his obviously her husband, comes back and he was a granddad because I'm going to sit down, I'm going to hold this and I'm going to call out. Granddad's been spotted. Um, somebody used to live in here. It was a bedroom. And the granddad... I'm going to leave that on the couch, actually, for a minute. The granddad's been spotted over where the REM pod is over there. So I'm just going to spin you around so you can see what I'm seeing at the minute. And hopefully we'll get some action when I start calling out. See, there's the REM pod. Right. Granddad. I don't know your name, so I'm going to refer to you as Grandad. But there was a lady who used to live in, well, sleep. Okay. I just heard that. What was that noise? What I was about to say was there was a lady who used to sleep in here, and her bed. Something's up. Hello? Hello? Sorry about the poor camera work. Um, every time I keep speaking, there's something rattling and... Did you hear that? I'm gonna get up. I'm going to hold this K2 as well. Okay, so there used to be a bed and she used to sleep there and he used to be standing here just at the bottom of the bed looking over her and also he used to be standing there where the K2 is just standing in the corner and he had long, um, long dark hair and a lot of people who have seen him um, thought he was a female Grandad, are you in here? Apparently he likes women, doesn't like men. Grandad, can you affect my K2 meter? Can I ask you some questions? Just, thank you. Whoa. Now I've just reset that and I've just actually moved. Thank you. Are you a male? Are you a male spirit that's in this room with me now? If you're a male spirit, can you set that REM pod off on the floor for me? Are you a female spirit? If you're a female spirit, can you set it off? Oh, it's gone so cold. If there's anybody in the room, if there's any children or anybody in the room, can you set one of the devices on the floor off for me? What was that? What was that? Okay. Let's spin this round. I'll speak to you. I swear. Oh my god! The door! The door's open. Are you opening that door? Oh, I kid you not, the door. The door's open more. Hello? Can you open the door? Are you there? Are there? Hello? Somebody's behind me. 
Somebody's behind me. Somebody's standing there behind me. Oh my God! Somebody's now there. Hello, are you here? I don't come in, I don't come to harm you. I just want to make contact. I just want to show everybody that you're here and you're friendly. I hope you're friendly. Can you affect this machine? If you come close to this machine, the lights at the top will go, will light up. And if you go over to this machine on the floor, it will make a noise and it will light up. And if you come over to me, I'll scream and I'll run. Hello? Thank you. Are you a male spirit? Are you the male spirit that likes females? If you are, please set off the alarm. Are you a female spirit? It's in this room with me right now. Did you hear that? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. So if you're a female spirit, did you work in this play? Did you work in this pub? Was this a farmhouse before it was a pub? Yes, thank you. Was it your farmhouse? Did you own it? Okay, so are you here with me right now? If I point this camera behind me, will you appear? If I move this camera to the door, will you open it? I can hear whispering. Does that mean there's two people in this room? Who are you chatting with? Chatting with your granddaughter, perhaps? Or the wife that supposedly killed you? good. I feel like somebody's watching me. I feel like that door's opened. I don't know if I caught it on camera, but I definitely think that door opened. When I started my lone vigil, there's definitely somebody behind me. And that REM over there made the noise. So I do feel like there's somebody in, in this room. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little test. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to appear more vulnerable and see if anything happens. Can you now appear to me? Can you open the door or affect the REM pod or the K2 meter? The REM pod again is on the floor and the K2 meter is in my hand. If you come close to me, the K2 meter is going to go off and we could potentially communicate through one of the devices. Maybe I could understand who you are a bit better, get to know your name, how you actually died, and why you keep coming back to this building. Is it because your wife's buried in this building, in the wall? You wouldn't have heard that. You would not have heard that, I don't think. But over there, I heard a woman, a woman, saying yes. Do you like me speaking to you? My name's Bex and I'm a paranormal investigator. I'm here to seek out the truth. 
Do you hear that? It was a whistle. It was a whistle. Hi. That sounds um, very feminine. It doesn't sound like a male. Are you his wife? Are you a child that wants to play games? Oh, guys, this room is so scary. Just look at the beamwork on this room. It's really, really holy worldy. Just going to show you. This room. Whoa, thank you. Just gonna flip this round now and show you the wrap pod. Whoa. Can you do that again for me? I've just got the rem pod in view of the camera. Can you set that device off again for me? To show me that you're here. I don't know whether you can see that, but there's like two big sticks on the floor, and there's some sort of vase. Whoa, thank you. Thank you very much. You're doing ever so well. There's another one on the other side of the room. Thank you. Can you set that one off for me? I have just got the most chilling feel right down my back. Okay, so that was really interesting. The more I spoke to the uh, man called Grandad, uh, the more things that happened, the more things happened, a whistle and a yes. Oh, that's very bizarre because I don't know if it's in my head that I feel okay. Um, I don't feel scared at all. I don't feel scared. I did when I first came in. Perhaps that was a different spirit. Perhaps that was Grandad. But now... I feel chilled, really chilled. Who is it in this building with me right now? Who are you? Anne? Did I hear somebody say Anne? 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 Is that your name? Can you light up this device in my hand? Hmm. See, this has happened to me once before. However, I was surrounded by crew. And I was hearing answers and, and, and voices in my head. And I kept saying to them, do you hear it? And they were saying no. And then something um, used my body as a vessel to communicate the f and it was it was scared. I'm really hoping that's not going to happen again, because I am on my own. There is no one around, and I really, really wouldn't be in that want to be in that vulnerable vulnerable situation on my own. I swear to God. Let me go and have a look. That door keeps opening. I swear to God. What I will do is I'll open it and you can see out. Hello? Is there anybody out here? The wind is howling outside. Whoa. Did you? Whoa, thank you. Thank you. I'll just show you guys. Can you step up? Thank you. Can you step away? Can you turn that on again for me? Thank you. 
Can you make all the lights light up? You make all the lights light up. I will leave you in peace. I'll bid you good night. Please, please. All the lights. Thank you. Thank you. That is absolutely amazing. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. I have a backache. I wonder what. I wonder if that's maybe an ailment he used to have. I, I, could, I do that a lot when I go into locations. I can sometimes pick up on things um, via my body, like back aches, you know, sore chest, coughing. I do that an awful lot. Did you die with a backache? Did she stab you in the back? Was it a, was it a lung condition you had? You suffered with this back? Is that what you're making me feel because you're standing behind me a lot? Or is it for a different reason? Is it because you're trying to use my body as a vessel to communicate? You heard that, didn't you? Please tell me you heard that. That was knock knock. Over there. Hello? Do you like this corner? Can you make the REM pod go off? Or can you stand in this corner? All four corners of the room. Come on, I'm not scared. Somebody's tickling my arm. Are you tickling my arm? Somebody's behind me. Okay, somebody's behind me. Is that you, Grandad? I, f I must say, I'm, since there's a different presence come into this room, my back aches gone, by the way, um, I feel a bit unnerved. I do feel a little bit unnerved. And I don't know what that is. Somebody's definitely behind me. Come on, you do better than this. If you show yourself to people and people have seen you through the window. Where's the window? There's the window. People have seen you appear to me right now. No K2 activity. No K2 activity. No REM pod activity. Apart from when we first came into the room, the REM pod made a funny noise. noises over there like somebody's standing over there but what I don't get what I do not get is and I'll have to ask Paul this if there is a spirit over there why is it not affecting the equipment because that's what I don't get because there's definitely movement over there ah! fuck off oh Jesus Christ and there was just an orb and all went down and the door opened. Please, t uh, I really hope. Right, you know what? I'm just going to take my torch as well because I'm a little bit frightened. And uh, I sing when I'm get, I get scared. Not very good, but I do sing. Is there anybody there? With the spirits nicely warmed up, it was the turn of the boys to see what else could be captured and the black horse. Sean and Paul bravely stepped into the unknown and got more than they bargained for. Okay, I've come into the room which is apparently supposed to be haunted by the granddad and I've got the periscope with me and it's already lit up, which is weird. Now I'm, I'm in the middle of the room. It's green, flashing a bit red. I'm just gonna turn it off turn it back on bang it's still lit up I don't know why that is oh now it's flashing you see that then it's flashing I'm gonna hold this here and it's stopped it's flashing it stopped 
I've got a rem on the floor. It's stopped flashing now. I'll bring this up. Oh. Well, that's weird. What could that be? Is it the light? Maybe it's the light. Okay. No, still flashing away. Got a rem on the floor there. So if anything goes near the rem, it will go off. Um, this now is settled. I think it's something to do. Yeah, it's got to be electric. Maybe it's not. Maybe it is. But if I bring it down, it stops. So I'll call out and ask for any spirits to interact. Thank you in this room with me. I've took my uh, jacket off because it's a bit hot. Oh, okay, you like my jacket off, do you? Thank you. Okay, is anyone here with me? It's light in this meter. Okay, thank you. Can you turn it off in five, four, three, two, one? No. Can you, oh yeah, yeah, it went off then for a brief second. I didn't witness it fully, but it went off. Can you come towards that REM pod on the floor for me? Make it move, touch it, do something for me. Well, not even started. And there goes a the REM. Step away from that, please. I'd like to talk to you, so I need you to move away from it for me. Thank you. Not a bad start. So, up in the attic, in the room we have called the mirror room, because there's a mirror there, where people's faces are supposed to have changed when they've been doing paranormal investigations up here. So, <coughs> I've got two remnants out, one in front of the mirror, one in the corner that's already gone off and we have the Ovalus all the faithful so I'll we'll switch that on Let's see if it works. is there anybody up here with me please my name's Paul you can hear the wind outside very, very, very windy tonight. I'm just going to show you this door. We're not uh, using... Oh, okay. Let's ignore that for a second and just show you this room. Oh. 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 Okay. Three different things there. Something felt like it brushed the top of my head. And then I thought I saw movement in there. And then something touched the top of my head again. This periscope's gone mad. I'm gonna put the periscope next to the ramp. Okay. Let's see if that goes off. Oh, okay. Thank you. Can you now walk towards that device on the floor, the light? And make it, if you walk towards it like you've been doing, it will light up. There is a tap over there. A tap over the door then. Are you in this room and you don't like men? Are you in this room with me? There's supposed to be a man who does not like men in here. And... I believe he really doesn't like men and does stuff to the men when they're in this room so hopefully we can get him to interact Jesus what's that then it's like the door was tapping is that you do it again louder again tap that door If that was you, do it for me again. There was tapping at the door. Open the door. If you don't like men, 
Do something. Tell me you don't like men. Use your voice. Very warm up here. Can you just step him back a second? I'm not sure then if I didn't see something over there. Just for a second I thought I saw a, a light. I'll just show you these uh, the stairs. They're rather steep and nobody could possibly sneak up here without hearing. Brilliant, thank you. Thank you very much. Can you step away from that so I can ask you some questions? <clears throat> Are you a male? Can you light that up if you're a male? Make a noise. Big noise. It's supposed to be the most haunted pub in the world, in the UK. Come and join me. Okay, someone's touching my leg. Look, right here, someone was grabbing hold of my leg. I physically felt the hand pushing against me. Are you here? Is that you? Do something more for me, something bigger. I'm not afraid of you. That was thud, thud on this roof. That was weird. Thank you for your acknowledgement. That was you, spirit man. Whoever you are, do it again. Is that life? Moving. That was super, super weird. It's happening again at the door. The door likes to tap. The door is tapping. Use your voice. Use your voice and communicate with me. Tell me your name. Now you're tapping at the back now. I heard a gentle tap. If that was you, tap twice. Worm. Thank you very much. You're doing really well. That's fantastic. Thank you, Harriet. Well done. What does worm mean? Was that an indication to something to do with the farming? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Give me something else. Give me... Records or records. Would we find more information about you in the local records? Just said my name. Just said Paul. That's correct. That's my name. Very good. Really good to meet you, Harriet. Could you make something move in here for me? Could you make a noise? Yeah, gentle rustling. I don't know if we'll pick that up. Come on, do it. See? Bang, lights go off, tapping starts. Tap again. If you drop the temperature in this room, tap again. Hello? Communicate with me. What was that? That was a whistle. That was a whistle at the back. 
It's when it feel like someone's touching my head as well. That was a whistle from back here. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Do it again and pull that door. Push it open. Oh. There was a gentle noise. Now do something big for me. I command you. This is weird. Whoa, oh, oh, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. If that was you, please do it one more time. One more time, if that was you. Just as I was about to say that was weird, the REM went off, man. That's weird. That's some weird, weird stuff going on here at the Black Horse. Light that machine up again. Go towards it and light it up. Come on. Please, I command you. Give me a sign. Please show yourself to me. Can you knock on this door? That's me. Could you knock back on that door? Can you make a noise anywhere for me, please? Okay, yeah, that's that's a noise. Thank you, Harriet. Can you step away from it again, please? Move away from it, let it go off. Thank you. Not bad, not bad. Harriet, there's another one of these devices in front of the mirror. Could you say, do the same to that? Can you set that one off for me, please? Can you make that make a noise? Just want to know that you're here with me. Care. Care. Do you, do you care about somebody? Prickly feeling all over me, especially the top of my head. That oh, was weird. Just, uh, yeah, just hair standing on end. I know what little I've got is standing on end, but I've just got that, um, you know, that sensation. It's not my command, it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen when I'm at home either. I command and nothing happens. I thought you didn't like men. Or are you a female? Like, have we got the spirit wrong? Are you not a ma man hater? Are you a female hater? What is it? Do you like men? Is that what it is? Where are we? Have you heard that? That was running on this floor beside me. Somebody ran on the floor next to me. I seriously heard that. I'm turning the lights on because I need to know what that was. If that was you, please run across that floor again. Let's hear you do it one more time. Come on. One more time, I heard you run, it went tap, tap, tap. I felt the floor move next to me. That's how weird that was. I felt the floor move. You know, and that's, that's paranormal stuff that's happening right here. Let's turn the lights off again. Okay, do something more for me now. Do something bigger, something juicier. Scare me. I dare you. Is that what 
have you died from? Jim. Jim. Oh, that was good. Harriet, is Jim the person that you were betrothed to? And is that your boyfriend or lover or husband? Did he have a hernia? What was that? I just thought I heard somebody coming up those stairs then. And the, uh, the REMs going off as I'm asking about Jim. And a hernia. So I'm just wondering if that was yes. But I could have sworn. Thank you. Could have sworn I heard. What was that? Projection. Are you going to project yourself somehow? I just, um, I just thought I felt something touch me. Are you a ghost from another dimension? A ghost dimension? Or are you a spirit being from another dimension? Maybe you're just an ethereal body from a you know, a dimension. Is that what what it is? You're not a ghost, you're, you're not a physical spirit, you're an ethereal body. Can you see me? Hello? What the hell was that? That was something back here then. Are you walking towards my device on the floor? If you are, thank you. So, so much. I heard that. I really did hear. There was a noise going back here, like somebody was going over to the uh, periscope. I'm losing my thought. Periscope into the REM. There was tap tap as well. Tap tap. Thank you for the confirmation. Really do appreciate it. I'm talking about it. They're, they're responding. The spirits are responding here. Are you able to physically show your body here on this camera for me? Show yourself physically on this camera. Wow, well, what can I say? That, for me, is, is subtle, but fantastic paranormal evidence the evidence that you want but you know what it happened on command and that rem pod went off the, the tap was on the floor fantastic fantastic somebody's touching my feet again somebody's actually touching me again and you know what when that happens you feel it when somebody touches you you feel it thank you so so much really appreciate everything that you've done.